All right, welcome uh, animators, artists, and people from all over the world. Welcome to State of Mind number five. And I have with me a very special guest, uh, Matthias Lappe. And as always, I ruined the last name, so did I get anywhere close? It's pretty close, yeah. Yeah, how, how, would, yeah, you how would you pronounce it? It's just Lappe. Lappe. So I was uh, 99% there. <laughs> cool. Congrats. Cool, thanks. So... Um, Matthias and me met uh, a couple of years ago at FMX, and, um, and we went to the same animation school, and uh, we're just now like both working as professionals, and so this is going to be uh, like a, a little round table with two people. There's not going to be any beer, but <laughs> <laughs> too bad. <laughs> I'll just be drinking water <laughs> and uh, just exploring like what it's like to work and and how state of mind comes into play and just have a, a really nice exploration of this and um, yeah it's gonna be that's gonna be the start of it so is how you feel and what you're thinking about your feeling is that any concern for you at work or you just sit down and just get started and don't give a don't give a damn about anything um, well as the moment I start working itself yeah. um, I'm just Focus on the animation I'm doing there, or the the project, or what what the task yeah. overall, like I'm doing there. Um, lately, it just had become a small kind of psychological issue thing for me, uh, like doing freelance work mm. and not really knowing when the next gig is coming and everything. And uh, if you have something for like a few months, um, it's pretty relaxed once you start. Yeah. But then, like when the last month. Uh, comes and uh, we think, well, I should try to get some new projects here and there. And then you ask around and send some applications, everything, but you don't really hear anything back. And the time for the deadline for the project is coming closer and closer and all this. But uh, yeah, I guess it's the normal uh, freelancer problem you have there. Mm -hmm. And um, so far it, it uh, worked out pretty well. So I hope it just continues. And um, yeah, but it's it's still uh, that's that's I think the hardest part. But once I started a project or whatever, um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty free with my mind and just concentrate on the task. Which is why you're a good animator, pretty much, because you're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, some other people have to decide that, but uh, uh, yeah, I hope well, I hope that I'm not uh, completely. You're, you're still getting hired and, and making money. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, it, it's it's working for now. Yeah. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that, and uh, I hope that 2015 is going to be the remote animation year of all years ever. Mm. So uh, that I can stay home with my uh, stepdaughter and girlfriend more, so I don't have to fly around and uh, go other places, and um, always have to yeah stay away during the week and all the driving back and forth and whatever. Mm. So yeah, that's pretty nice to just. Um, be here, do your work, and after work hours are done, you can just relax with your uh, family, and um, yeah. yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Nice, I like that. And um, so, do you like when you like so when you start a, a work day, you just sit down, get to work, like have your stuff ready, and get some coffee, and do all that stuff. Do you like? Do you ever find yourself slipping back into the zone and just like? Like losing yourself in the hours, or is there no consistency there at all? Or? Um, well, before I was uh, in this patchwork family thing uh, with a stepdaughter, and uh, she's now uh, 12, um, I definitely got into the zone way better, just because right now it's like I'm getting up really early in the morning, just... Uh, just to get the day started early, so... Um, and so normally I start animating around like, I don't know, between... 7, 7.30, something like that. Mm. And um, this is normally the time when everybody else is leaving the house. Yeah. So uh, at around 8, I'm completely alone. And then I can like work until like um, 12 or, or 1 p.m., something like that. And for that time, I'm pretty much uh, trying to, to really get in the zone, get not too distracted with, with Facebook and Twitter <laughs> and mm. uh, everything else. And... Uh, but and then um, it's just I always have to set an alarm because normally I don't really uh, look on the on the clock anymore. Yeah. Uh, and then it's just a reminder. Oh yeah, I have to get some uh, some f d um, lunch ready. Yeah. Because the my my uh, stepdaughter is coming home from from school and um, 
then we have like the rhythm there, getting the food ready, she's coming home, asking how the school day is and all the stuff, yeah. you know. And uh, you have some homework, yes, you need help, sure, okay. <laughs> so and sometimes I can help um, with, with all this, this uh, like normally all the, all the um, classes with numbers, I can help her. Everything else is uh, her mother's doing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and after that, it's just it's harder to get in the zone again because um, working from home, then you have like so many distractions, and if you then have somebody running around here, and uh, I don't know, like normally during the afternoon, uh, it's just hard to to keep the concentration up. So I would say like eighty percent of my work I just get done in the in the first hours, and then the rest is just whenever whenever you have time available or. Exactly. Oh, yeah. cool. That sounds very different because you're like I, I work at an office, so there's a like a very different rhythm to that. That's much more completely. Yeah, yeah. yeah when I was uh, working in uh, at, at Soy um, at location, yeah. like there in the studio, it was completely different. Like I was starting around like eight, and uh, then normally animating until like eight or seven, something like that, yeah. because I was uh, leaving Friday a bit earlier to drive home. Um, but yeah, there was just the, the normal working day, so you had like your, your rhythm there. Um, but I feel like even if nobody asked me like any questions or whatever, I was just like animating, doing my blocking or whatever, um, I never really got in the z same kind of uh, zone like when I'm at home, like completely alone, you know? If people are around and I know they tend to move and breathe and all the distraction of like people doing around you. Uh, you always like look over or whatever so um, yeah I, I really like that just um, having this focus if, if I want to listen to music I listen to music sometimes I just listen to nothing or just open the door and hope that I don't know like sounds crazy but some birds are flying around or something like that just to to get some completely different uh, surrounding environment kind yeah. of and then just uh, work on your work on your shot and hope to uh, get something done kind of quickly and good I like that. That's cool. For, like for me, I just get at the office and just grab a cup of tea and then sit down. And <clears throat> if it's a quiet day, it's a quiet day. And if it's uh, like if there's like a lot of things to do, I just like ignore whatever's coming up and just get to it. Just plan yeah. it out. Huh. But but I have to say, like that's that's something I also miss. You know, like not having this. Uh, I mean, like talking to people is nice. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I always uh, try to to stay connected to people, like over Skype or whatever. And uh, but still, I mean, it's it's completely different if you work from home. And um, where I'm living here right now, there is not really an animation industry, mm. like nothing. So uh, and all my my friends I got like I know like during AM and then uh, all the conference and, and so on. They all live so far away. So it's not like hey, just meet for lunch or something like that. You know, like that's just not possible. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you just like write a few emails and try to connect over Skype and all this, but um, I mean, that's a nice thing when you work in a studio, like you can just like um, talk to other people or like, uh, you, even if you don't talk, you just feel like you're in the part of this, this bigger thing. You know, when you work from home, you get your shot, you're doing this, you're sending it over, you get your feedback, um, even over Skype call and everything. and. Uh, you still see like the the progress of the whole thing, but it's definitely nice uh, to be in the studio, mm. to be around like other creative people. Um, but it's also so nice to just have your own rhythm. And if you feel like you need a nap, yeah. <laughs> like a ten minute nap, you can just take it, and that's uh, that's perfect. I feel like this is just uh, pushing my output way more. Mm. Just the feeling that I can. Uh, I don't know, like sometimes around like 3 p.m. or so, it's like, I feel like so tired because, I don't know, I got up at like 6. And I just feel like, you know what, 10 minutes, just like put myself on the couch, close the eyes, don't even have to sleep, just like 10 minutes zoning away, yeah. kind of, and um, then just go back to work and uh, it's all good. And I think I could do the same in the studio, but it just would look weird. <laughs> I'm still building like, on that. I'm still like, because I recognize <laughs> that, the, the times when I work at home, like... <laughs> Right now, what the best thing is I can do is sleep. I just need like ten or fifteen mm -hmm. minutes to just hit on yeah. the couch, and then I recognize that I would like I'm not at the level that I do that at the office. 
Exactly. Like, I don't think it would be a problem, you know, like just say, oh, you know what, I'm just going to take 10 minutes off, uh, go in a conference room, just put myself on the floor, whatever, yeah. uh, and just like close my eyes for a moment. I mean, there are so many other people just going out and, uh, I don't know, like uh, smoke a cigarette or something like that, you know, I mean, that's that's kind of the same five to 10 minutes or whatever. Yeah. You know, like you go out there, you smoke a cigarette, you talk to people, you get a coffee. I mean, they're like your 10, 15 minutes, mm. which is completely fine. But if you don't do that, like you, you're not smoking, then it's harder for yourself to maybe um, find a good reason to say, hey, I'm just going to go up and uh, I don't know, like every hour or two or whatever, it's going to take 10 minutes, just go out and smoke a cigarette. And just instead of smoking cigarettes, just going to stand there outside. <laughs> That's, I don't know, it feels a bit weird. <laughs> What I love, what I love what you're saying, what I recognize for myself as well, is just when you listen like to what what's good for you in the moment, like okay, I need a break now, or I need like this now. Yeah. And then you can like listen, yeah, listen to what comes up, because I like I know some. What you were, what were you gonna say? Uh, I mean, you just feel it uh, in the, the moment when you think okay, I only have like one hour left and I have to get, I don't know, this done on my on my shot or whatever and then uh, I'm tired or I need a break but no, I have to focus and then, then you start to, I don't know, work faster and do yeah. more mistakes and at the end it takes you twice as long. Yeah, or you make... But silly, you always yeah. know that in the end and normally you know that even beforehand but you just don't listen to you because you think, oh my God, I have to get it yeah. done, I have to get it done. Otherwise, I don't know, the world's going to end. <laughs> Interesting. I, I recognize that. He's like, why am I stressing? This is, I'm actually doing worse work. I'm not helping myself. But the, I'm only just working exactly. harder to get rid of the feeling of the stress, which is like, well, yeah. not really. Like, it's not useful. You're not. You're not helping yourself or anybody. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I do. Like for me, I do take breaks. I like. I'm very strict. I like. I plan it in the morning. This and this and this is when I'm going to take my break. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, it's so easy to just, ah, oh, yeah, I just, I could probably go for another half an hour and then take a break. And then you work for a half an hour and, and then you're like, three. Oh, I should have taken it like half an hour ago. Like, I'm already like, the last half hour I did, like, I just noodled around. You're just like really trying and it just doesn't work. And like uh, yesterday, um, I started a new shot just for myself. Mm. Uh, with a new rig and I was um, working on it and uh, doing some poses and trying to get used to the rig and everything so basically I was like super hyped because yeah new mm. rig new possibility mm. like new 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 shiny toys you know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah so I was starting to work on it and working and working and working and uh, then I was looking at my on my clock it's like wow it's already 2 2 p.m. I didn't really took any break there just like standing there on my desk and just working working and uh, the moment I realized that, I felt like I was, I don't know, getting tired, mm. you know, like uh, not knowing anymore where to look on my shots. So I was like, hey, half an hour later, I was like, nah, doesn't, doesn't do any difference if I uh, work now five hours more, ten minutes. It's just going to not look so good. Mm. So I was taking a break, I think in like half an hour or an hour or something like that. It was getting something to eat and so on. And uh, once I was getting back to my uh, to to the shot, um, it's always like this fresh eye moment, you know. Yeah. You look at the shot and it's like, why didn't I saw that before? Just like fixing something here and there, and overall it took you like twenty minutes to fix something we worked on two hours before. So, but I think that's that's always the the same case. Like if you have if you finally take your break and you come back and uh, have a bit of distance to the shot, you see so many new things. So, and, um, yeah, definitely take breaks. <laughs> yeah. I, I like it, though, when so, like, because this is, there's no real rules for this. Like, sometimes, just as you described, sometimes you just, you have it all in your mind, you have an exact vision, and you're just like, okay, new rig, I have to find this and this and this out, and you're just like, and you're, you're, you're just running with it for, like, a several, uh, for however long it needs to go. And then at some point in your awareness, you get like, okay, now I'm tired. And then you have to, the yeah. option, the <laughs> option to push through or to, 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 to take like a, to take like a break and just come back later. And like, I'm very fascinated by the fact that, and this comes from the time when I was working home a lot, it's just, 
you find that sometimes taking a break is actually very beneficial. Yeah, I think you find this out more when you're working at home uh, when, rather than when you work in the studio. Um, I remember when I was at uh, One Animation there, um, my, my uh, roommate and colleague there, we always had like our lunch break at around like, I don't know, like 12.30, 1 p.m., something like that, I think. And then we always took another break around like 4. So we always had like this kind of uh, parents, like he was looking on your on your clocks, like, oh, it's nearly four. And you look over your computer and he's looking and say, yeah, break, okay. So and then you take like your 15 minutes or something like that, but nothing really in between. Yeah. So you have like your, your breaks there, you have your lunch break, you have your small little break, and then you go home. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think that's, that's a nice thing, working, working at home, like nobody's standing behind you. You don't have to, to uh, yeah to explain why you're taking a break now, you know, it's like, in the studio, sometimes you feel like, ah, the other people are working, and I mean, yeah, we just had, like, lunch an hour ago, should I really take a break now, I don't know, yeah. maybe, yeah. maybe not, you know, <laughs> like, all this stuff, which is completely stupid, nobody's gonna look, and then get a list out, and like, oh, he's taking a break again, yeah. it's like 10 minutes, it's like, in the end of the week, you're like, wow, he took a lot of breaks, <laughs> you know, I mean, as long as you get your work done, uh, that's what I take as many breaks as you want. I mean, yeah, it's not it, as long as it's not like five hours in one. Something like yeah, that. you're you're there trying to be productive. That's 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 exactly. always what I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm taking another break when it feels like when it feels right, and then I but I'm never worried about it. I'm like, I'm taking this break yeah. because I like I need this break. This will help me when it feels right. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're like two different, <clears throat> uh, like two different things. There's one thing taking a break, yeah. and there's the other thing of like not feeling productive at this day, and just like I don't know, taking a break because you don't feel productive. And I mean, you have those days. You have those days where you start working and you work an hour, and it just doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's like you don't get the pose, you don't get the look, you don't get the expression, whatever it is, you don't get the splining done, the weight right, whatever, yeah. and you just sit there and watch like oh, seven more hours to go. <laughs> you know, I can go home and start over tomorrow and uh, I don't know the thing is when I'm working at home I tend to work more than when I'm in the studio like just because of the fact that if I have a day like that I don't force myself to say okay now I have to get it done today because I mean as long as there's no freaky deadline um, but I'm just like okay it just doesn't work so what else do I have to do yeah I have to get some groceries I don't know, I have to do this, I have to get paperwork done. Uh, so I'm always trying to put this stuff in there in the time yeah. when I don't feel productive at all. And then maybe later at the evening or something like that, do another hour where I feel like maybe I can fix what I did this morning. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then just hope that I'm going to be more productive tomorrow. And um, if I'm more productive and it's working again, then I don't know, just do a few hours more. Like, I don't know, like two, three hours and uh, that's it. And then it's okay. So don't stress yourself too much about those those days. But it's hard when you're in a studio and you have other people around you and like you have the feeling everybody's looking at your screen. And the moment you don't uh, move the timeline around, yeah, you <laughs> so you become it's like, didn't I saw that frame like an hour ago? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's sometimes uh, hard. I think I like the differences that you're talking about, as in. The, the difference between working at home and the office and because you're in both situations you're still trying to do the best job possible exactly completely it's like it's not that you're sitting at home and uh feel like well i mean i'm working from home so i only do an hour and that's it it's like you just have to, still have to get the animation done and the work done and you work for yeah the normal eight hours or sometimes more sometimes less it just depends um but it's, it's just nice to, to have the possibility, at least, uh, a bit yeah. to, to play around with the time. I mean, I still have to be available or, like, reachable during, like, normal office hours, in a way. So I can't just say, well, you know, I'm just going to sleep the whole day and just work during the whole night. Mm. I mean, it's going to be hard with, uh, with feedback and everything. Um, but at least you can just play a bit around with, with the stuff. It's like, uh, I started to realize that I'm way more productive in the morning. Mm which I would never thought I am. I always thought, like, um, I'm a night guy, you know, like, working at, like, 5 a.m. Yeah. Like, we did at Animation yeah. Or, like, I well, did I, it I didn't. Like, during the whole <laughs> night. And, 
and sleeping five hours and getting up and working again until like five in the morning. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so I just have the, the option now to start early because otherwise the normal studio day I know starts around like eight or nine-ish, something like that. Mm. But now I feel like, well, if I want to, I can just start at six and just uh, get work done already. Mm. And sometimes it's it's crazy. Like you start to to work at like I don't know six thirty seven ish, and you work and work, and you look at your clock and it's like wow, it's just twelve. But yeah, I just already worked nearly six hours. It's like yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's just a completely different feeling. I mean, sure you're t more tired in the evening and all this, so it's not that you suddenly have like your thirty hour day mm. or something like that. But it just I don't know. You feel like you get more done during the day and um, I know that that works better for me yeah but I think everybody's different there well, and on some levels I'm like yeah this is totally true but at the same time there's not like the things you're describing and I, I agree with them on some levels like at home you're like you are mar much more intuitive very mm -hmm. intuitive as in okay I need a break now you take it and you never think about what everybody else thinks because they're not there yeah, and then at the, at the office you feel the same signal. You're like, I need a break, and you're like, oh, we just had lunch an hour ago. People are gonna look at me, which is like, that is really that's really your thinking that's going on right there. Yeah, it's, it's completely stupid. Well, I wouldn't call it stupid. It's still real. Like there's uh, yeah, it is real, but it's uh, it doesn't make sense to not listen to it. It's like it's a valid signal. Yeah, it's a valid yeah. signal. That I completely agree there. Um. And it, I was gonna go into time, and now time is just just another concept because in the end you could be, do as much in five hours as you can do in in like a mediocre eight hours sometimes. Oh, completely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And then you also have like the fun of fresh eyes, which I find a very interesting subject because you, it's like f sometimes I just I sit down and I work very hard. I'm like it doesn't really work, but I'm like all right, I'm just gonna stay here try my best and then see if it comes up and then you take like you walk away and you forget what you were doing and you come back it's like oh man I should do it like this this and this and this and then you solve it in like five minutes or like in yeah. ten minutes you, know, like, you have like the, the perfect solution yeah I find that so inspiring just just that fact it's like oh there's these gold nuggets and you're just not seeing <laughs> them and if you just relax and just like grab a cup of tea or just don't don't try and force it too much and just come back and yeah it's always easier to to see something like this on a shot which you haven't animated like if somebody's asking you for feedback mm. you always see like all these things like a tangent here or the expression there or push the spine more or whatever um, but on your own shot you normally don't really see that so fast because you're completely into it and uh, I mean you did the pose and you thought at one point yeah it looks okay looks right um, yeah, but then you're taking the break, and as you said, like the moment when you start to forget about your shot, that's the best thing, because if you still think about it, you still have kind of this mental image there of the pose yeah, in your yeah, head exactly. and everything. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that the best thing is really starting in the morning, you know, after t having a lot of hours between uh, the last time you touched the shot, and just open it again, and looking at your last play blast, or just uh, scrubbing through, and um, seeing a few poses, and well, Honestly, I think I can push this way more. Yeah. Just go in there, tweak it a bit, and um, yeah, and then you feel like, oh yeah, I, I pushed it. I did something good. I, I don't know, like I, I tweaked the shot in a good direction. So you're like more, you have kind of sometimes have more energy to go into it again. Yeah, because you're know, you're knowing you're going in the right way. Or in a in a better way than before, in a more clearer way. Or this holds normally until you get feedback. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's uh, that's that's a nice part when you look at your shot, do some changes, and feel like the new energy, and uh, just keep on going. Yeah, rather than noodling for like five hours, and yes. you're just like, ah, oh, exactly. I want to go home. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to go home. Let's <laughs> make this day I wanna end. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we covered a lot of ground already. <laughs> cool. 
what I like is that um, what you said is when you when you come back and you like you forget your shot, you forget the pose, you forget you, so you come back and you like basically have no memory um, whatsoever of what you were doing, and then so you have fresh eyes again, and so there's no. There's just sort of the feeling that you were going for. And then you look at it, it's like, oh, I, I, okay, this is pretty good. That's pretty good. This needs to change. And then I think I think there's, and it's done in art school as well, where they recommend to, like when you're making like a drawing, like to frequently step away to look at it from a distance. So you have like a, yeah. a, a, a different perspective because it starts to, I don't know how that works, but it starts to look like, starts to feel dead after a while it's like it's like eh, it's, it's, i'm not really seeing it and then you try harder and harder <laughs> totally. to, to get it yeah i mean it's always like this you start a shot and uh i mean the, the first ideas you get you have this all played in your head yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. like I, I can see it i can see it already it's like if i look at my screen it's like yeah it's gonna be happen there and there's like an overshoot and whatever yeah. and then you start to put the poses and it's like wait a second None really work. Yeah. <laughs> but but why? It's like I see it in my head and it just really looks funny and good in my head. Why doesn't it work on the screen? Yeah, in my imagination it's just start... like the perfect shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like it has to be possible. I mean I just saw it there with the rig. Mm. It's like it's not like I just saw a bouncing ball running. I was like I, I kind of imagined the rig doing exactly this. Mm. So it has to work somehow in this, on the screen too, like in Maya too, whatever you're using. And then you, you push the pose and uh, trying there and nah, that, that, that's also not it. It's like, and you think like, okay, what's wrong? This is, is not working because I was completely somewhere else with my head or uh, am I just not getting the pose exactly the, the right way or um, sure, sometimes it's maybe it's just a limitation of the rig because otherwise it's, it's breaking at those points or whatever. But um, it's always, I think this is like the hardest part to start a shot and you have the vision there and even if you record reference and, and all the stuff and you start doing the poses and you look at your blocking and you don't feel it like you don't have this this moment when you do the first play blast and like oh yeah now I'm gonna see it and it's like what the hell is yeah, this? yeah it's not like you have two realities <laughs> like, you have like yeah you know. it's not even close <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but then uh, comes sometimes. That then comes this uh, love-hate relationship of animation. You know, it's like I love to work on it, but I hate that it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> so and, um, yeah, you have to get it to work somehow. So and if not exactly like you have it in your head, then find a different way, a better way, make it work. Man, that's the point. Yeah, <laughs> make it work somehow. It's always so easy when you're not working on your shot at the moment. You know, it's like after after you've done your shot and talk to people, it's like, yeah, just make it work, you know. But once you sit, it's like it's not working. It's work on. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna delete it. No, just gonna draw it. If I could draw, damn. <laughs> Here's a, a a radical idea. What if, and this is very the the thing that state of mind points to, and I'm I, like I sometimes see this, and when I do, I'm I'm doing very great so one of the things that state of mind points to is the fact that um, the feeling we have it's a radical idea just gonna throw this up here um, the feeling that you that that like when I have a shot when I feel good or bad about it is pointing purely to my own thinking about the shot it's never pointing to the shot itself and so yeah yeah, I would definitely say that's true. I mean, that's that's I think the point of um, asking other people for feedback because they don't you care know, about like, your shot; they're just there. Exactly, it's like it's working or it's not working. It's like if, if I'm doing something like at Soy, um, we were animating uh, kind of a children show. Mm. So I would say I don't know, like the, the age for that would be like maybe six years upwards, something like that, maybe. Um, so sometimes you just have the idea and you animate it and it's like it's completely clear for you, you know, because like, I don't know, 
you're doing this motion or this this whatever it is like it's you're gonna pick up a ball from the ground you know it's like you just go down and pick up the ball done um but if you then ask a, a child or like you know like how would you pick up the ball it's like completely different it's like they would never pick up the ball like you would do it you know like with one hand they would just i don't know maybe fall on the knees and take both hands and like make it over complicated you know it's like it's just a simple task of like picking up a ball but it's like the whole body is involved and everything so um it's always like the person it, it depends where you who you ask you know it's like you have your idea and you you do your shot and um and the moment you ask another person he's looking at this and he doesn't know what you have uh in your in your mind like in your imagination or what you thought into all the poses it's like there's just the moment it works or it doesn't yeah it's like there's nothing really in between it's like if this it kind of works well it just means that it doesn't work because it's like there is this there's not really a gray zone i feel yeah like either the shot is working or it's not and if not then you just have to find a way to make it work make it clearer or whatever it, it takes to just yeah make it work make it readable understandable i love that um like one of the the hard things to explain about state of mind is separate realities as in what you see is completely different from what i see and especially yeah yeah but in in this in this context it makes like complete sense because you have like when i sit down and i animate something i've got like a, a head full of thinking around it like this and it needs to be like that and this and this and this and this and that's why yeah like feedback from another person is so valuable because they just come in and just look at it and it's like i don't get it or i get it exactly and when and yeah. when they get it, it's like an experience, and it's clear. It's just to just get it. And it's there. Exactly, and it's most likely if one other person gets it, then maybe the other one will get it too. Yeah. But uh, and yeah, that, that's always the hard thing, like having trying to get something across, like an emotion or whatever. And uh, I mean, you know, somebody's angry, somebody's sad. Mm. I mean, those are like expressions you maybe can make read pretty clearly, mm. which doesn't necessarily mean that the shot is working just because you see the expression. Like if somebody is sad, you just, I don't know, lower the eyebrows and whatever, the head, <laughs> yeah. just put in there. It's like, yeah, well, I see clearly he's sad, but it's still not It doesn't feel me. sad. So, yeah. Exactly. You know, like it looks sad, but it doesn't feel yeah. sad. And that is so hard. It's like you ask 10 people, you get 10 different opinions and uh, everybody, um, I mean, if you ask for feedback, people want to help, you know, and tell you, you know, uh, I understand what's happening, but I don't really see it clearly. Maybe try this and this, because that's that's their approach of, of uh, going to the problem or like fixing the problem. Yeah. So, of course, if you ask 10 people, you most likely get 10 different uh, ideas to, to, to put this in. And then it's a hard part of like, okay, now I have to find one working way because I can't put all the 10 ideas in yeah. there. And sometimes I also feel like, okay, but I don't really want to just ignore the feedback from person X because then maybe he's angry and never gives me feedback. <laughs> you know? So it's like, okay, what what I'm doing now? It's like can I kind of get all those ten ideas into this one shot? That would be the worst thing yeah, to do. Exactly. <laughs> You'd completely ruin it. Exactly. So I really like that uh if you find if you found people which are really honest and uh it's it's nothing personal. It's just the shot is just making it work and either you take the feedback or the suggestions or you doesn't yeah. or you don't. It's like it doesn't really matter. It's like you can still ask them next week uh, about a different shot and it's all good. It's just it's just animation. Yeah. It's like we're not healing I don't know, like uh any Yeah, we don't healing the world hunger or whatever. We just do an animation shot so nobody yeah. Yeah. dies from that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that's nice. I, 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 like I, in your story, I never, I don't hear any. Like for me, when I sit down in a shot, and like it's not working, and my experience of that is so real that I'm, like, I, in the beginning, I struggled a lot with that because I was just like, ah, oh, it's not working. I hate this experience. I hate doing this. Yeah. The totally no, like yeah. when you're in there. And. I love the fact that just like when you get feedback, you get like a fresh perspective on it. You're just like, 
oh, wait a minute, maybe what I'm thinking is not actually as bad as I think it is, or it's maybe not that true, or you get like a little bit of a, a lightness to it. Yeah, but you still sometimes, sometimes feedback just, just sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like you just work there and put everything in there and like, yeah, I really thought about everything, like every single pose and you just get the feedback like, yeah, it doesn't work. It's like, that's more like, well, then I take the question back. I don't want to hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like, then I don't care. Then, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just hard. If you put work into something creative from you and people start to, um, to make changes, that's always hard. That's part of the game, I guess. Well, from, I don't know, for me, when it's, when I'm lost and somebody has a suggestion, it helps me like to, to regain, like, okay. Then, That's fine, yeah. yeah. I, uh, it reminds me, in the, in the interview we did with, uh, with Micha, he said, he talked about one of his supervisors and his love-hate relationship between, in art, which is so strong. Yeah. Like, I've, I know very few areas where, where people are either loving their experience or truly hating it. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, you wonder, like, why do we still do this? Why are we not, like, I don't know, folding boxes or doing something that doesn't keep, like, stress yeah. you out as much? But And the supervisor said, like, yeah, I just love the feeling when a shot comes out perfectly. Just from beginning to end, it's just like a smooth, smooth perfection just all the way nails it. Yeah, sometimes when when you have this, this uh, that's great. But it's always, it's it's rare. I mean, the more people are involved, uh, getting involved, the more opinions you hear. And I think, like, normally, I don't really have a problem with, like, getting feedback and doing changes. Mm. You know, like, it's just, just part of the game. Yeah. It's just getting, like, really hard once it's, like, so late in the game, you know. It's like when you have your blocking approved and blocking plus approved and the spline approved and you start to polish and then it's like... From a different person which never saw your your shot again uh, before, it's like well maybe he I don't know you know this this uh, maybe he should come in from the other side. <laughs> yeah, you know something like that. It's like oh, really, it's like, but it it worked before, and then it's always like this. Um, is this valid feedback? Is this just uh, does it have to be different to make it read clearer, or is it just a different opinion? Yeah. So, and uh, that's sometimes just, that's annoying. I mean, honestly, that's just annoying. If you work for weeks on a shot and then suddenly sometimes so somebody comes, comes in and just... Maybe he should come in from the right and maybe he should make a jump instead of like sitting on the chair. Like, completely different, you know? But, well, in the end, it's like, that's, that's uh, why you do your own work, you know? Like, to have nobody standing behind you and telling you exactly that. It's like, you can listen to other people's feedback or you don't. It's like, hmm. I, but then again, it's so hard because you don't have somebody. Standing yeah, exactly. That was just about to say. It's like <laughs> it, like the, it's about the same metal, right? Because yeah, and I think the common commonality in between those things is um, investment. I know that when I'm super invested in something, as in this, like for a show real shot, this needs to be the best shot ever. I'm just gonna. Ever. And it's gonna be ter That's gonna be agony because I'm like slaving and wondering and. And then it's a good enough, this pose good enough, and just I get totally lost. And mm -hmm. I have to say, my work, like when I'm very invested, I'm like, this needs to be, like, the customer needs to be, like, blown away by this, and this needs to be, all. it's like. And for me, when I'm, when there's a lightness to it, just the, uh, okay, I'm gonna, I have X amount of time, I'm just gonna sit down, get to it, and gonna make the best I can, and I just okay, keep my eye on the ball, and I'm just more curious yeah. about what's going on in front of me rather than my personal investment in the shot. Then it's like, yeah. you know, I really like animating. I love this job. And I'm like, and then other days you're like super, you forget it and you get like, I get super invested again. This needs to be much better. It's not good. And then it's like, it's yeah. this hatefulness again. It's like, ah, oh. it was funny. Like the last year, um, I had like this super opportunity to, uh, co-direct a uh, short mm. film at uh, studio. Yeah. Side. So I was uh, I was first animating on a different show, and then they asked me to come back and uh, co-direct. And I was like, "Wow, great opportunity, awesome!" Like right from the beginning on. But the problem is, you're getting so 
invested in the short thing you know it's like you're doing the first storyboards you're thinking about the locations you only get the script and then it's all like getting in your head and you think about like oh yeah this box has to be there and they're running there and you just do the storyboards and and then the layout and the animation and and then there's one point where uh of course other people are deciding things you know it's like because uh, you're not like the only director you have different person there you have uh, producers you have the client yeah. most yeah, of exactly. all and uh, then you get like those feedback things you know like this uh, he should point with his fingers over there and he should knock with his head when he means yes you know like those obvious yeah. things which are always they hurt a bit they hurt me doing those yeah. you know because it's like you don't have to point with your finger over there just because you're talking to the person in the right, yeah. you know? It's like, if you watch in this direction, it should be clear, but no, the client wants this, and it's always hard, you know? Like, it's always hard to, to killing your babies. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, then, like, after the, the project was done, I was animating again on a, on a different one, and it was way easier, you know, because somebody else did the storyboard and somebody else did the layout. Yeah. And I was just like getting the stuff and, uh, yeah, just, you know, make it look nice, kind of. Uh, here's the idea and just do that. And it was way easier to make changes just because, yeah, you weren't, you, you weren't involved so much yeah. in it, like right from the beginning on. Like you felt like every <laughs> single piece of <laughs> every shot, every camera, everything had to be exactly there because it's it's working so great. It sounds almost like when parents get too involved with their kids. To like really yep. mic or a manager gets really involved with his employees and he's like just like <laughs> micromanaging like it needs to be this, 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 and this and like and yet nobody's happy that's super inefficient. Yes. And it's terrible because the manager's not getting what he wants because he's not using the intelligence that's available to him. And then, and, and with kids, it's the same thing. Because the more, at least from my experience, the more you like leave them like to their own devices, they're pretty, they're pretty good. Yeah. And then when you're like, oh no, oh no, don't go there, it's too dangerous, and you get you freak out, and that and you, and that's what for me state of mind points. So just the fact that that feeling of awkwardness or unpleasantness when you're like very worried points to the quality of your own thinking rather than the the thing you're looking at completely it's such a big part like all the the it's all a head game kind of you know yeah. it's like if you sit there and do you think about your shot and does it work does it not work how am i going to fix this now can i fix this now do i want to fix <laughs> this or <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like Especially on your own shots, it's like, I really want to make it work, but I kind of already did all the work, so I do I really have to redo the work. <laughs> because sometimes it's just nice to say, you know what, I kind of call this finish now, because I really can't see it anymore, and I don't want to work on it anymore, yeah. and I just want to get something else there. The moment, as you said, you think, oh, this is going to be a demo reel shot. It's going to be the best shot I've ever did with the, all the knowledge that I ever, like... I'm going to put everything in there. I'm going to put expression changes and yeah, selecting yeah, yeah, yeah. and running and body mechanics yeah. <laughs> and everything in like 10 seconds. <laughs> and then you start to make your layout and you feel like, okay, now I'm already at 54 seconds. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit too much. And Yeah, it would be just nice to just do something without um, thinking about this. Uh, demo reel stuff and uh, over this I need to do this because I have to find it has to find me another job somehow yeah. so it's always nice to do something else creative besides only animating to just feel like yeah I'm not I'm not completing uh, I don't know like I'm still able to do something nice and like you don't have to stress too much about it in the end yeah yeah, for me, for a little while, it almost became like a technique to just not get invested too much. Yeah. And then you realize, well, I need investment in some way. I need to be, like, I need, actually, I cannot, like, oh, I'm just going to sit down and animate it. Oh, shit, I don't care. Oh, wait, actually, I do care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Like, hard. you, need to, you, you uh, need to be present with the shot in the moment, but not, like, when you walk away, you need to, like, just, just walk away, like, oh, no, don't. Like, yeah. Yeah, uh, a friend of mine. Uh, I think he and and a few other guys or something like that. They did something. Um, they did this two-hour challenge, yeah. 
which basically they, they meet kind of once a week and they um, have this little random animation uh, script so they can put like uh, push the random button and then they get like um, humanoid body mechanics shot uh, on ice <laughs> so they're sliding and uh, cartoony you know so and then they have two hours to just get something in and yeah. after two hours it's over so just get a blocking in get a pose and get whatever and after two hours it's done and you do something else yeah and that's like a yeah, a great thing to do because if you have somebody else telling you, here's the script, here's the idea, here's your shot, do you see what you have to do, do it? You have your guidelines, you know, you have like, you know what what they expect kind of from you. But the moment you do your own shot, it's like you question every single thing in it. <laughs> like right from the beginning, it's like, you have the idea, but is it a good idea? Could it be a better yeah, idea? Yeah, yeah. But didn't I see uh, saw that before in a different shot? Maybe it's kind of close. I mean, it's still a, it's still a girl going coming in a shot. Didn't I saw that before somewhere else? You know, do I, maybe they think I copied it or maybe doesn't is it really good? Is it not good? You know, does a pulse read maybe longer or, or whatever? It's like oh, every single thing you question yourself and you never get it done. It's so annoying. I think you either learn how to deal with that or you just quit. There's no there's yes. Like, no, and yeah, and then you feel like, well, I kind of work, you know, professional as an animator. So I do animation over the day for somebody else, and you know, it's my work. I'm getting paid, and I get the shots, and uh, hopefully, it's uh, good enough to to get somewhere else with it, or to get a different shot. Because sometimes it's just the budget, you know, it's the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just need, I don't know, like. From time to time, you have 10 seconds a week, you have 5 seconds a week, or you have 40 seconds a week. And of course, it's hard to take your 40 seconds and make this uh, the best animation anybody ever saw. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's 40 <laughs> seconds. very unfair. What, exactly. So, um, and then you think, you know what, I'm going to do my own shot, and I have the time, and I'm just going to polish everything, you know, make it look really nice. It's like, But until you get to this section of polishing, you have like this stuff with finding the idea and getting it in and really sticking to it. Like sticking to your own idea, I think it's the hardest thing to do. Because as I said, you question every single move, pose, whatever in your shot, everything. Yeah. And setting your own deadline is a nice thing, but it doesn't work for me because I know, well, I've just set my deadline next Friday, but hey, it's my deadline, so I'll probably just put it on. Friday after that one, <laughs> yeah. whatever, like in two months, it's like it doesn't really care. So having a deadline like, oh, there's a conference coming up, so I have to get this done until then, that's something different. Yeah. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, but uh, that's at least something you can't really postpone. It's like the conference. Well, you don't really want to postpone it. it. That's, I think, the difference. Yeah, because... yeah exactly. Yeah. And it's just, I mean, after like eight hours or whatever you work on somebody else's animation, then um, getting your own work out and animating some more, that's always hard. Mm. Because like, I feel like the best hours I had over the day, like the most productive ones, creative yeah. ones, they're already gone. And um, so I could say, well, then I want to use those for my, my own shots, but that's also not really fair for your client or the studio you're working for and so yeah. that's just um yeah it's just hard mm. it's finding the balance there i think in everything finding the balance is just hard yeah i know for me at the end of the day i'm like i'm done i'm, I'm done animating i just i just accept that and uh, that'll probably change like when i have a like for i did a a while ago, uh, just I thought I'm just gonna master the bouncing ball. I'm just gonna animate the bouncing ball until I drop dead. Just, just <laughs> like, like do so many of it that I'm like I'm never gonna be able to worry about these ten frames because I'm gonna have like another three thousand coming on. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> because there was no investment, it was just like really enjoying it. And then I'd make a mistake and do it different. And I make a mistake, do it different. Make a mistake, do it different. And then after a while, I just got really really good at it and then I'd be making it very complicated like making like nine bouncing balls making like a shape and going back in and just okay that was terrible and then he recovered but <laughs> that exploration was so light and, and fun that I 
I could do that for a very long time because I was never, I never caught up in the head game, as you called it. Like I was never yeah. questioning. It. I was just like, yeah, I'm going to make a mistake. It's cool. Make it, make it, make, make it. Look at it. All right, this needs to be different. This needs to be different. Yeah, I think if you can, if you could just switch off this, it has to be good. It has to be part of my demo reel because otherwise uh, I wouldn't put the time in it. You know, mm. if you can, if you could just switch this off, this would help so much. I mean, like if I'm doing something else, like uh, um, I don't know, getting out and taking photos or whatever, and, like getting home and and do the post production on them and whatever. It's like. I don't think about, oh, that has to become part of my portfolio and it's better be the best picture I've ever took because this is going to help me, I don't know, get a job or I have to sell this or whatever. It's just like I'm just doing this. Uh, hopefully somebody else likes it, but first point is that I like it. Yeah. And if somebody else doesn't like the way I do the post-production on it, well, then it is like yeah. that. Don't have to please everybody. Yeah. But the moment I'm doing my own animation, it's like, oh, man, it has to be... You know, this pixel quality and it has to get me in a big studio and it has to be the best thing ever yeah. and the most unique and, and all this stuff. And oh, this is like such a hard thing just to, to get over this mind yeah. setting there. That's just hard. Yeah. I was going to say something very smart there, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I yeah, got the best he, comment ever. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Shit, I forgot. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <Yeah. laughs> I like the realization, though, because... For me, when I'm, when I'm cooking, like I have like no investment whatsoever. I'm just in there in the moment doing it, just like you just cried photography. Just there, like, mm -hmm. okay. And you have, like, a sort of a saneness around it, a sanity, a, a, a mental health around just, like, all right, I'm just making a picture. And I'm going to make exactly. it as good as I can, and that's what it's going to be. There's sort of an acceptance of the outcome, and there's, like, you don't... And because you're not at all caught up in it, like, what it needs to be, you're just there in the moment making it, and then... It feels, to me, that feels much lighter, much easier. Oh, yeah. And it's just good to, to do something you like for yourself. You know, it's like, you like cooking, dancing, whatever. Other people do something else. I really like to take photos, and it's just nice. You don't, I don't do it too often, because it's always like the, the town you're living mm. in. Most likely, it's not the for you at least, the best photo location, mm. you know, but then you see other people like visiting your town, it's like, wow, where you took this picture? Yeah. That's really where I live? Yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> that's cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like... yeah, I haven't seen that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just nice to just go out and uh, do something then for yourself. Just know, yeah, just do this just because of the joy of it. Yeah. I just like to do it. There's nothing else attached to it. If it doesn't work, if I... If I do 700 photos and I get two which are good, or even one, that's completely fine. Yeah. And if there's not one there, sure, I'm a bit disappointed, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because it's just fun to do, and um, yeah, hopefully you get better at it. Because, I don't know, I guess everybody who's having a hobby tries to get better at what he's doing yeah. there. Otherwise, you know, I don't know. But, and if it doesn't, if I'm not getting better, then... It's like it's that. Still, no, it's, we're still, still doing this or, I don't know, yeah. shooting film. <laughs> you're still like, yeah, you're still having a good time and doing, <laughs> enjoying what you do. Exactly. Yeah, you don't question it. So that's uh, definitely the good thing. You, that's, again, the balance. You just need to have something to balance out your, your work, and especially in the creative world. You always do client work. Mm -hmm. If you work for somebody else, you're realizing or you, you're creating somebody else's vision. Mm -hmm. Which always means that it's not exactly the way you want to do it. Mm. It's just like that, and uh, that's completely fine. Mm. But it's still, uh, still sometimes you just need to do something where you are your own boss in a way and say, no, I kind of like this exactly like that, and I call this one finished. Yeah. And done. Moving on, next, next picture, or whatever it is. I think we come to a really nice point to, uh, to call this conversation. Okay. Or cool. is there anything you wanted to like? 
No, not really. I was just going yeah, in, yeah, like, with good. your uh, question and everything, so just... Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed yeah. this. That's, like, we've been going for a good hour now. Like, 50, yeah, yeah, for a good 55 minutes. Haven't felt so long. Yeah. No, it was good. I was just, like, <laughs> I haven't been drinking any beer, but it's just been very relaxing. You just, like, talk. I still have some water. Yeah, though, so. talk shop. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time and your, your, your perspective. It's, like, for me, it's been really, really fun. Yeah, cool. For me too. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for asking. Thanks uh, for giving me the opportunity here. Yeah. was a pretty short notice, but uh, <laughs> yeah. all good. <laughs> for the viewers, I just, like, I will record this today. Who's up? Who who would who, be good for this? Oh, Pontius would be up for this. Let's see if he is it. Like, yeah, I can do this. I'd love to help you out. Just like, yes, good. You want to do this? You want to do this in half an hour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but... Totally cool. All right, cool. I mean, I saw the Skype message like 20 minutes after you asked, so basically I had like 10 minutes, yeah. but it's all, it's all good. Cool. Well, thank, <laughs> it was definitely fun. Thanks so much, and uh, I'll talk soon then. All right. Take care. All right.